what's up guys welcome back and uh, this is gonna be another interesting tutorial because this time we are gonna use chat gpt to write code for us so what i'm doing is i'm going to make a thumbnail maker as you can see in this app it's, this is a dummy app this has nothing this is just as have a black container nothing else and we are going to ask chat gpt that create a thumbnail maker for us which i can use probably on my instagram or probably or on youtube itself so let's see how we can do that so i'll go to chat gpt right now i'm using chat gpt plus but you can use normal chat gpt as well i will tell it that um can you build a flutter app okay let me zoom it a little bit probably so um can you build a flutter app which can generate thumbnails for me okay um for which i will give a title in the text field and also i should be able to provide a gradient um this thumbnail won't have any image and uh, i also want to refresh the screen once any thumbnail is generated and the last information i want to give is i also want to save this thumbnail thumbnail please write the source code for me for me okay this is fine and uh, it will start processing so below is a sample source code for flutter that generates a thumbnail with this with this and save its as an image file okay so what it is doing is it's using as you can see image gallery saver and uh, path provider so basically it should have told me which it is not telling me right now and let's see if it will tell me later that uh, i have to add these two packages as well the one is path provider second is image gallery saver um which is fine and uh, yeah it's taking the thumb uh, like gradient and all which is nice refresh screen is also good um and uh, let's see let's see let's see how it goes uh, right now i'm using um a simulator so basically this save functionality will not work because save thumbnail can only work when i'll use a real device that's one thing which i just want to make sure that happens also i won't suggest you to chat use chat gpt or things like that until unless you already know coding because otherwise you won't be able to solve the bugs you won't be able to do anything with it because i mean there can be bugs there can be a lot of issues right so you won't be able to do that and the another um, like part of it is that you also won't be able to understand that what's happening so um it is doing a lot of work for me fortunately and uh, i mean uh, and okay one thing which i have observed is that this chat gpt plus writes a lot of code which generally uh, normal chat gpt does not write even though i can see this also stopped at some point and i can just write continue to continue from there and uh, that's one of the reasons that i hate chat gpt because it cannot write code in one go second thing is that um this has some cap limit of 25 messages this chat gpt 4 okay now it is writing this code as a normal some sort of text <laughs> it's not showing it in some sort of editor and um, okay it is saying that to use the block picker widget you need to add the flutter color picker package to your pubspack.yml but it is not telling me that you know even to um, save you have to use these things okay so i'm going to use this flutter color picker so i'm going to do as i'm going to go to pubspack.yml i will add this dependencies let's say um add dependencies so flutter color picker something like this was there uh i think this is the dependency it was talking about 
flutter color picker and all the other dependencies which i saw was uh, image gallery saver and path provider that was also something which i would add image gallery saver and uh, one would be path provider okay you can always change the version of it and uh, make sure that because a lot of time people follow my tutorial and things change because the version changes and all of those things happen so that is that is still can happen so i just want to make sure that you know you are already familiar with that and in the thumbnail maker i'm gonna just copy this code and i'm gonna paste it over here okay it has a lot of issues right now because um uh, i am not even you know imported the entire code yet uh, because there is a lot of code available here as well so i'll paste that as well and then there is more code here as well so i'll add that code as well and in the end this block picker i haven't got it yet okay this i have to import again let's see if it has more issues um okay it has this issue with find render object for some reason okay and okay i think if i say this okay this is fixed to image uh, cannot be unconditionally okay so i think again this can be this or maybe there are some issues i am not able to figure out why this is happening um isn't defined it says okay so the problem is that this particular thing is not working for some reason so it's saying that change repaint boundary to render object type notation which can fix this but then this boundary does not have a to image sort of method and then this thing is not working so that what i can do is the save thumbnail function okay so i can tell him that the save okay the save thumbnail function has some issues uh, can you fix it fix it so let's see what it says uh, i updated the save functional thumb of uh, save thumbnail function to use the uh, permission handler package for handling permission and then image gallery saver so uh, then okay now it came to image gallery saver at least and permission handler also we will have to add so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to pubspec.yml and i'll add this one as well okay all right so what it will do is it will change it a little bit uh, again i think the problem is with this particular piece of code which we will just come back and ask it to fix so okay i think it will take a few more moments to get it done all right let's just paste this particular piece of code as well i'll just remove this i'll add this thing and uh, permission we will have to import again the same issue is that the method um again a value of okay let's let's do one thing let's check the debug <laughs> okay the uh, problems so um we can copy this thing and we can paste it directly if to see if uh something it can do okay 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 now it is helping me in fixing this so it says that okay you can cast it as render object uh, which can fix the problem so um find render object as the paint boundary okay this is something unique so what i'm gonna do is okay so it says that i can just say it render repaint boundary and it should fix the problem that is sort of fixed i am sure but then i have another problem which is saying that image of type by data cannot be okay that's the problem i think we need to do this and then we need to do this or this okay i think this thing is pretty much sorted uh, I think I have removed all the bugs from this code. Now 
let's do one thing let's read and it's because we have added a lot of packages or plugins so i don't want to just get into that zone where you know i'll have to uh again restart the app next time so it's better i do it right now and then probably it will also ask me to run pod install or things like that because that can be another problem but i'm happy with chat gpt doing most of the heavy work for me and uh, looks like and probably we will need more tutorials um to make this app even better so and we will do that um but right now let's do the basic one okay <laughs> there is one problem is that this thumbnail generator is something which we haven't specified yet uh and to be honest this this thing should not be here because uh, this is already there in our main dot dot and we can just replace it with thumbnail generator a thumbnail maker okay we have okay this is definitely not very um responsive sort of thing but what i can do is i can go to thumbnail maker i can do some changes myself as well so for example uh, here in the row if we see generate thumbnail or i can wrap it so i can use a wrap widget which can um mean alignment and uh, i can say wrap alignment okay this is better and then um i think i can have a cross axis alignment as well or spacing as well so spacing i can give 20 okay this is better much much better so now i can write some title so let's say um how to use chat gpt and i can use a color which is color one is this oh wow this is nice i loved it and then i can say click ah generate thumbnail i can refresh this screen again and i can just say um new flutter app color 2 also has some options okay there are two variants basically one is the left side variant and one is the right side so i can yeah i can just do that new flutter app okay let's change it to something else okay i think there is some bug that uh, all the time you will have to refresh the screen to apply the gradient which we can fix later but if i let's say this time i let's let's go with black and here let's go with uh, some sort of yellowish new flutter app but for some reason this thing is not working like the gradient just once it works so i can just say new flutter app let's do black let's do yellow okay the first time it works and the second time it does not work so there is some issue save thumbnail it won't work on simulator uh, but that's fine and i can definitely do that so this is really interesting that what we could do uh, we can ask chat gpt that um, um the gradient does not refresh or work the second time we um select it so it can definitely help me um in this okay it's saying that the issue occurs because the gradient is not being updated properly while selecting a new gradient color so what it can do is it can say that generate thumbnail can be changed and uh, by using list dot from gradient colors uh, it can do the thing for me uh, so what i can do is i can just go to generate thumbnail method okay this is where it, this is causing the issue it says and then if i do a hot restart if i say x y z something something i can choose orange and i can choose let's say blue then it thumbnail and if i change it to let's say something else oh this is this time it's working for sure okay this time it's working so this issue we have fixed also yeah i mean <laughs> this is pretty interesting um next what we can do in the next tutorial we can also ask it to create vertical thumbnails for us but i'm pretty much happy with this particular app i hope you enjoyed it if you did press the like button subscribe to the channel if you are not a subscriber already and i'll come with the next video very soon thank you so much for watching and happy chat gpting <laughs> see you